Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan and I'm Jamison Euler tonight. A frightening reality. There is little information about who the Seminole Heights killer is. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos is live in Tampa with new information directly from the police chief. Maricela. I did. I spoke to him for about 30 minutes about what you see behind me because this is weighing heavily on him. He knows that he has three victims and he's trying to solve these murders quickly. He says tips are coming in, but it's a slow process and they still do not have a lot of information about the person or people responsible for these murders. These are the faces of three people who you probably never met, but now can't forget. A cold blooded killer targeted them randomly in Seminole Heights. We can't sit back and wait for a fourth victim. Everywhere you look, you'll more than likely see a Tampa police officer patrolling. But even with that, the interim police chief says he needs your help to solve this case. It's going to be somebody saw something that they thought was insignificant or they just dismissed it. And that's going to be a key to this whole thing. Detectives don't know if they are dealing with one person or a group of people. We don't have those answers, and that's why I'm so cautious about labeling the suspect. I know I'm being more cautious than a lot of my neighbors are, but I'm also pregnant. Cassandra Miller feels better knowing Cruz clear the alley behind her home, as the mayor promised. I know that some people say it's just an alley. It's not really, it's not going to catch the killer, but it eliminates places that they can go. Detectives are looking at everything, even into incidents that happened before the murders and since. This afternoon, we noticed officers near home off New Orleans. Detectives have not said whether that's connected. I'm curious. I want to know what's going on, so I asked them, and they said that they would have been looking for a, a shell casing. What we do know for sure is detectives believe these three murders are connected. We have a limited amount of evidence and there are certain things that only the person who did this or the people who did this would know. And that information the chief has, but at this point he isn't willing to release it. Now again, you can see a growing memorial for one of the victims and Dugan says if you have any information, please contact them immediately. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News. Maricel, thank you. And a reminder, this video here is right now one of the best clues that police have to go on in this case. It's surveillance video from last Monday, close to where the first victim, Benjamin Mitchell, died. Police want you to talk to the man, or they want to talk to the man you see walking in this video. Tonight, they still don't know who he is, and they need the public's help identifying him. A $25,000 reward still stands for information leading to an arrest.